boys, it's tea time. It's like a yummy, yummy apple tea that we've just kind of had up there. I'm trying to think what the shelf life of tea bags are. Like six months, something like that? It's definitely not six months old. Also, I know people who have had tea just kind of like hoarded in cupboards for years and still drank it. So, I don't know. It makes sense that it could go bad. It is like a thing from the earth. It is like a tea leaf, you know. So, whatever. At least we know this apple tea is totally fine. And perhaps I personally should do a bit more research about when uh, tea goes bad and what causes tea to go bad, and those sorts of things, so that I'm more knowledgeable on it, because I do love drinking tea. Fun fact, I do really love drinking tea. I love coffee, but I also love tea maybe as much. I would say they, they are wonderful BFFL. I always hate it when people compare coffee and tea, and they're like, ah, oh, I like this one more. Not that you don't have the right to like one more than the other, but it just makes me laugh because I feel like they're so different. Like, they're so different. They're both a, a comforting sort of habitual drink. They're both something that people routinely drink in the morning or in the evening, right? But I feel like they're so different. It would be so hard for me to say, yeah, I like coffee more than tea, or yeah, I like tea more than coffee, because I feel like they are just, they're not, they're not similar enough for me to compare them that way. I don't know. That's just how I feel. And they're both, they're both yummy, wonderful drinks that I can have in the morning or have in the evening and just feel all <laughs> Tonight I was on set, actually. I was on set outside and in the call sheet they had said, hey, you should probably bring a jacket because we're gonna be outside at night. I did not do that. But fortunately, every now and then my, my Oregon cold instincts just don't kick in and I'm freezing and I feel really embarrassed about it. Like my pride has been harmed, but tonight, I was fully in it. Everybody kept asking me why I wasn't wearing a jacket, and the honest answer was, well, I didn't bring a jacket, but also, I didn't really feel that cold, and that was kind of lovely. I really like, I really like that feeling of being surrounded by people in jackets and legitimately feeling like I don't need one. It's kind of the same as <laughs> um, when I first moved to LA and we had our first rainfall, and everyone had umbrellas. And I was like, why do you all have umbrellas? It's like not even raining that badly because in Oregon, no one uses umbrellas. <laughs> like unless you did your hair, right? Unless you got your hair did and you're feeling kind of like, I worked really hard for this hair and it's raining buckets outside. No way. Unless that's the situation for the most part, no one uses umbrellas, right? So being in LA, the second it starts sprinkling, people are like, nope, and it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, so I was on set tonight. It was super fun. It was for like a little sketch comedy thing. And um, Maker, I guess, is helping produce it. But it uh, it involves a couple of dudes that you might know named Key and Peel, who the second that I heard that about that they were involved, I was in. <laughs> I was like, I don't care if I'm getting paid. I don't care. I don't care about nothing because I love Key and Peel so much. So, um, yeah, I was asked if I wanted to do that, and I'm not going to tell you, like, what it is or the concept of it. What I will tell you is that, <laughs> and one day when you, when you watch this sketch, if you wind up watching this sketch, um, you'll remember this story. So I, for whatever reason, and multiple other people involved in this sketch also had this same problem. For some reason, a lot of us thought that we were the bouncer in this sketch, because it's, it's like a club scene, right? A lot of us were told, or assumed for whatever reason, that we were the bouncer in this sketch. And so I had been told that I was the bouncer, and I was like, all right, we're going for the like small girl who's a bouncer, you know, sort of like funny. Okay, I can do that. And then I, thank goodness, looked at the call sheet again. I was like in my car ready to go. I was leaving and then looked at the call sheet because I, um, I looked at the call sheet because I wasn't sure where I was going and I was like, oh, I should probably plug this into my GPS. So I pulled out my phone. I'm looking at the call sheet and it says Dodger Stacy. And I was like, 
who is Stacy? Am I Stacy? Uh-oh. So then I start looking more and more into it. And I called up my manager, Sarah, and I was like, hey, I think, I think I'm Stacy. I don't think I'm, I'm the bouncer. And she was like, what? I thought you're the bouncer. And I was like, me too. Am I not the bouncer? I think I'm this chick named Stacy. And she was like, oh man. And so she looked at another email that she had gotten about like wardrobe. And she was like, oh no, okay, if you're Stacy, then you need to show up there in club clothes. I was like, I don't have club clothes. And she was like, oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. so I like ran back into the house, was like tearing my whole closet apart, trying to find clothes that could count as club clothes. And thank goodness, my mom had just bought me like a small pleather skirt. I was like, okay, we can work with this. And then I had kind of like a, a nice shirt with like a weird swoop neck. So I wore those together and I was like, is this clubby? I was like going up to Sam like, does this, does this look clubby? And he was like, yeah, I was like, is it clubby? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and they also wanted me to already have my makeup done. And again, remember by this point I was supposed to have left. So I'm just like, ah, like throwing on clothes, scooped my hair into a ponytail because I was like, oh man, if I'm supposed to show up camera ready, that means they don't have anybody to do my hair. Like, they don't, they don't got nothing. So I was just like, oh God, put my hair in a ponytail, I guess. And then I like did my makeup as fast as I've ever done my makeup before. <laughs> Drove there. Only managed to show up like 10 minutes late somehow. And uh, it turned out that they did have somebody there to do makeup, but it was more like they, they had somebody who was ready to do touch-ups, right? So it wasn't as big of a deal for me to have my makeup perfect, which thank goodness. And, uh, and they were totally cool with my outfit. I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> like just the smallest little mix up. I was like, ah, I'm sure they'll have clothes for me there being a bouncer and all. No, nope. I was Stacy. <laughs> I was Stacy, the rich club rat. Oh goodness. So yeah, we were there until um, pretty late doing that. It was super, super fun. Got to work with a lot of people, got to meet people who have like been in things that I've seen on TV, which was kind of weird. I mean, that's happened before. You know, I've worked with Will Wheaton and all them, but like, it was, it was a very different world of my TV viewing where I was like, oh, you were on Reno 911. I marathoned that one time. <laughs> it's just like, I know who you are. I marathoned a show of yours. So overall, it was a very, very fun night. If not a little, a little stressful at a certain point, very fun night overall. And, um, and yeah, when, uh, when we were supposed to do MangaPod, then it turned out that YouTube wasn't letting people stream. And so Erin was like, aw. <laughs> and again, like she can't stream on her Twitch either. So because we got, we got banned from Twitch because we didn't play enough games. <laughs> Story of our lives. And since Yoku couldn't make it again, we were like, all right, well, let's see if we can do it later in the week. So we might wind up doing Manga Pod later in the week. Ah, that tea is good. Been drinking like mostly black tea lately. And then we ran out of black tea and I was like, we have other cheeses. I'm drinking the apple tea. I have an apple tea, I have a ginger tea, and green tea in there. I haven't been drinking the green tea as much. I need to drink more green tea. It's good for you. My mom loves green tea. My mom loves green tea. She drinks it all the time, like every morning. She drinks a cup of green tea every single morning. My mammoth. But yeah, I had a good day. I had a very, very good day. And, uh,. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to say. I'm trying to think of what it was. Oh man, I'm look, looking over here. Look, this isn't what I wanted to say, but let me just tell you, I was so excited, so excited because I've wanted one of these for a long time. This is an LED panel light. It's awesome because it's got a, the little floopy dupe at the bottom so that it can clip on top of your camera if it has the, the floopy dupe insert, right? It clips on top of your camera and then you, I'm gonna aim it away from my face, but you turn it on and it's it's a light. It's like a light that's that scales. It's super, super cool. And that way I wouldn't have like light issues at all. It would just be like right on top of there. So um, they had this on like a crazy Cyber Monday sale on Amazon. And I was like, 
<laughs> I'm getting it. So I got it, and <laughs> my little camera that I, I'm sure that it'll, it'll fit on the 60D, but my little camera that I use for, um, for like, uh, welcome to the fandom, and for coffee time, this camera right here, the, the, the insert that it has for this is not the right size. I didn't realize this came in sizes. I thought that it was always, I thought it was just, there was like a standard size that it would just slip into and all cameras were the same. They're not, they're not all the same. <laughs> I've learned this today. They are not all the same. So that LED light won't clip on here, but I have faith. I have faith that I will figure out how to jimmy this and make it happen because I want that LED light on this camera really bad. Ah, but anyway, I hope you guys have had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.